Hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss about SAM file format. SAM stands for the Sequence Alignment Map Format, which is a tab delimited text based format for storage of read alignment information or read alignment data. Read alignment data is generated by sequence aligner, such as Burrow Wheeler Aligner or HiSat or Bowtie. And there are many more sequence aligner which can be used to align read sequences onto the reference genome. The binary equivalent of the SAM file is called as binary alignment map file or BAM file. Both SAM and BAM contain similar information. The difference between the two are that the SAM file is human readable whereas being the binary equivalent by BAM file is not human readable. Being a compressed binary version of the SAM file, BAM files are smaller in size compared to the SAM file. There are many tools which work better or efficiently with the BAM files rather than the SAM file. For interconversion between SAM file format and BAM file format, we can use SAM tool, which can be downloaded from its uh, website and installed on a Linux Mac system. Before going to details of SAM file format, I would like to present a graphical representation of reads aligned to the reference sequence. In this graphical representation, the red bar represents a reference sequence, which happens to be a subsequence of chromosome number 22. This subsequence starts at position number 32651st position on chromosome number 22. That means this particular later occupies 32651st position in chromosome number 22. The second later occupies 32652nd position in chromosome number 22, and so on. In this graphical representation, the subsequence is 38 nucleotide long and the contiguous sequence of nucleotides represented below the reference sequence represent the read sequence. This example shows four reads named read 11, read 21, read 31, read 41 aligned to the reference sequence. This graphical format is good for the visualization purpose. And also it contains a lot of information related to the reads aligned to the reference sequence. By examining this graphical format, we can answer several questions related to the read aligned to the reference sequence. Just like what are whether read 11 is a mapped or unmapped read. By examining this graphical sequence, as we can see, uh, read 11 uh, has a fairly good match with the reference. So we can say that read 11 is a mapped read. If you want to know what is the exact position where read 11 is mapped on the reference, then we have to look for the coordinate of the reference sequence where the first base of the read 11 is aligned. And in this example, the read 11 is aligned to the position number 32,660th position on the reference sequence. Similarly, if you want to know whether read 11 is a perfect match to reference, or there is a mismatch in just or relation. As we can see, the read 11 has a 100% match with a subsequence of the reference sequence. So we can say a read 11 is a perfect match with the, uh, with, the uh, with the reference sequence. If you want to know is, is the read mapping reliable, that means what is the mapping quality for the read 11 by just looking this example uh, graphical representation uh, we cannot answer this question because there is not not sufficient information um, stored in the graphical uh, representation related to the read alignment uh, the, uh, mapping quality similarly if you want to know whether read one one is a pair read uh, just by looking this graphical representation then uh, it would be a very difficult uh, question to answer as there is no way to know if the read 11 is coming from a single sequencing experiment or a result of a paired sequencing experiment. Graphical representations are better for visualization purpose. 
but it cannot be our preferred format for storing read alignment information. Because computer programs and softwares works better with text-based formats compared to the graphical format when it comes to the storage and retrieval of alignment information. It is always possible to recreate graphical representations of read aligned to the reference sequence from text-based formats format as a text-based format stores almost all sorts of information that is coming out from a sequence aligner. SAM file format being a text-based format not only store and organize alignment information into definite structures but also offers quick retrieval and easy manipulation of alignment data. The information stored in SAM file format can be broadly categorized into two sections. The first one is the header section and the second one is the alignment section. The header section is optional, that means it may or may not be present in a given SAM file. If the header section is present in a SAM file, each line of the header section will start with the at the rate symbol. The header section contains information about the reference sequence, command used to generate the SAM file, the library information, and information about the experimental conditions and samples. The alignment section contains the actual alignment information. For each read, there is a line in alignment section. That means if we have aligned 1 million reads to the reference sequence, there will be 1 million lines in alignment section of the SAM file record. The alignment information is stored into 11 mandatory columns of the alignment section. And these columns contain information such as alignment positions, mapping quality, and other essential alignment informations related to the reads aligned on reference sequence. This slide represents an example SAM file. This box here is a graphical representation of a read aligned to the reference sequence, just like the one we have discussed earlier. When the information content in this graphical representation is converted into the SAM file format, it translates into something like this. Here we can see the header section where the line starts with the at the rate character and the alignment section which contain information over 11 mandatory columns. At this time point, it would be better to have a look on a real example of SAM file format. I already have downloaded subsection of a BAM file from 1000 Genome Project. The SAM tool was used to convert the BAM file into the SAM file. You can download same subsection of the BAM file using following set of commands. I use SAM tool view command download the subsection of the BAM file. I only downloaded the reads that are aligned to a subsection of the chromosome number 17. The command is available in the description section of this YouTube video. Then you can use the SAM tool to convert the BAM file into the SAM file. The command for conversion is SAM tool view hyphen edge test.bam redirection sign test.sam. This will generate a file called test.sam into your current working directory. As the SAM file is a text based file, you can use Linux terminal to display the content of the SAM file. In principle, you can use any of the text editor or split application to display the content of the SAM file. You can, use, you can use Microsoft Excel if you are working with Windows or OpenOffice Calc or LibreOffice Calc if you are working with Linux. Because of the size constraint, I would limit 
the length of the video to the 10 minute approx. In order to continue the discussion on SAM file format, watch the next lecture in this video series.